NFL 24, and it's presented by EA Sports. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Dallas Cowboys, and it's coming up next. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Today, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here. As it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Brandon Gond and Charles Davis, thrilled to be with you from the broadcast booth. And partner, before we get this thing started, what are you going to be watching? Who gets on the In horse racing terms, they talk about catching a flyer out of the gate. Who sets the pace and makes the other team chase? Andrews Carlson has his team up ready to get started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. First look at the Cowboys offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see him all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, when he returned to form, boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever. And that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. Play one, and Prescott to the air. It's holding by Brandon Cross. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. Well, that's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a turn center offensively. They come out throwing right away, and it's an early completion and a quick first down. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. He'll get it up near midfield with a 49 before being taken down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he's in the right This is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made with the Packers 29-yard line. They're going to pick up there at 22. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Pollard will take it up the gun. Down to about the 22 here. Created a nice gap for the running back to get through. Pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now. So we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take out extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. A game of seven, and they pick up the first. We're scoreless after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. They'll buy some time. He finds his man, Pollard. And here he'll get it down to seven. Give him a gain of five on the completion. Second down. They run straight ahead here with Power. And this Green Bay defense making that play look a lot like the previous one. Both tackles behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Second 
second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive, but this is third down. There's Prescott. pressure on that third down attempt and their mistake cost them points because they're inside the red zone so you know you've got at least a field goal waiting for you and in this case they end up with nothing six foot four inch jordan love taking the field for the first time the 2020 first round pick from utah state set to lead green bay and at the start of jordan love's nfl career he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching aaron Rodgers work but now he's looking for more than that Rocket arm, big play potential. He wants to show. And yeah, it's intercepted on the first play of the game. Picked up by Stephon Gilmore. And he will bring it back to about the 11 yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them? get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception. That's a great shot. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's done a lot about right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was in, Complete pass here now is 
is second and ten. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports halftime report. It was a strong first half for running back Tony Pollard. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Both teams making their final preparations for the second half of action. So with that, let's get you back out to Arlington, where we rejoin Brandon and Charles. Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Ten nothing is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packer offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stock troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition does have a focus on defending the pass here. They got re creeping in. All you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is, first guy there, hold him up. 
Second, third guy in, breaking the football. Get it out. We got to a turn on this one more score. This game's over. Still about 40 yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Well, so far, this game has gone the way the defensive coordinator had hoped. They've dictated things. They did not let them run the ball very well at all. They gave up a nice game there. I doubt it'll back off their confidence. They played so well throughout this entire game. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Prescott now. so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, hey. we've seen a lot of NFL hey. games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but it's almost all of them. The offense has put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that frankly... I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops from one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. On third and one, love to throw.